Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock video. In this video, we are having a closer look at the latest December release models from the Daruma Doll series. I bought two models from the series, so let's start with the DW6900 first. We'll come back to the 5600 model slightly later in the video. The outer box for this particular model, as you can see, looks really special with the glossy black color design and gold accent in terms of the wordings that you see on the top and the wording in front here that says G-Shock. And if we look at the back here, we have the official model code for this particular release, DW6900DA-4JR. This is a Japan release model. So let's get inside and see what do we get. The very first thing that we can see over here is the standard Japanese manual that we get with all the Japan release models. So this is the manual here. So I'm going to put that aside. Next is something special. We don't usually get any additional uh, items as part of the release. For this one, we actually have a card with the Daruma design. As you probably already know, this release is based on the Daruma doll, which is said to be the symbol of perseverance. And it is also known as a good luck charm. The design that you see over here is pretty much the similar design that you'll see on the tin can and also on the watch face itself. At the back of the card, it says package designed by the black eye patch. And uh, this is made in Japan. Some of you may remember the Manekineko series that I have over here that was released earlier this year. It was also designed by the same team. It also had a card with the Manekineko image inside of the packaging. This is how it looked like. Similar kind of packaging details that we see from the Manekineko can be seen for the Daruma doll design here as well. If you haven't watched that particular video, do check it out. I'll link it in the description box. I've done the review earlier this year. All right, now let's move on uh, with uh, what do we get on the inside of this package. Again, you can see here they have also branded the black eye patch as part of the uh, inner cover of the box itself over here. And then now let's get at the tin can to just look at that. Totally a different contrasting color scheme that we have over here. It was all black and gold on the outer side. Now we have a much more red colored design on the tin can itself. This one looks really cool guys. Just look at the, the design details that we have on the outer side. On the front we have the image of the Daruma so you can see all the facial features over here, the eyes, the eyebrows. Uh, and then we have also a wording in front here. If I'm not mistaken this one means uh, luck or fortune. In Japan, Daruma dolls are important part of New Year celebrations. So it's being released at pretty much the right time, December, and we're just a few weeks away for New Year. Hence, it is a really good gifting um, item uh, in Japan. All right, so let's check out the watch itself. Let me get the watch out of the tin can. Uh, other, other than that, I think the rest of the packaging is pretty much the same. We get the standard price tag over here. And then finally, the watch is here. Let me put the tin can aside. And finally, we get to the watch. This is the Daruma Doll Design DW6900 watch. Let's check out the watch itself. This is a standard DW6900 watch that is being used as the base model. The watch face has got the Daruma doll design. So at the top, we have the eyebrow and then we have the eyes where the indicators are that is being circled in orange color. Facial features all around this watch. The watch face is white in color, uh, which is very contrasting compared with the red bezel and the straps that we have. The watch has got a really cool looking backlight image with the letter G in the middle. The light itself is uh, pretty much blue in color. Uh, really cool. That pretty much completes the overall watch face design. Now, looking at the slower straps of this particular watch, it's pretty much a standard red colored straps. And on the top side, we have the Daruma motif. 
on the keeper of this watch. It's just a silhouette of the doll that is being etched on the keeper of the watch. Inside of the buckle over here, uh, it says Casio Japan. And if we just look further over here, looking at the case back here, this watch is also assembled in Japan as well, just like the Manekineko series. Apart from that, this is a standard looking case back here. Again, the model code DW6900DA, uh, the standard module 3230, and that's pretty much it. Here is a quick wrist shot of this watch and how it may look like. Okay, now let's move on to the next watch in the series. Packaging wise, we get the same items from the DW6900 model. Here, what we have is the DW5600DA-4JR square model from the three models that were released as part of the Daruma doll series. Let's get inside and see what are the things that we get as part of this particular release. So in terms of uh, the manual and also the uh, the card is pretty much the same. We, do, we, we get pretty much the same from the uh, 6900 model. Uh, the tin can is also pretty much same in terms of design, but the watch face itself is slightly different and that's exactly what we are going to have a look today okay let me put that aside and here you go so this is a dw5600 model that is being used as the base model this is how the watch looks like the watch face design is slightly different here we have other design elements from the daruma doll the same de design elements are actually present on the tin can of uh, this particular packaging that you have over here so pretty much the stripes that you see over here is from the design that we see at the top here same goes for the stripes below here as well so the design elements are on this particular dw5600 model now one of the really cool looking uh, thing that we get uh, is rather special here is is the backlight on this watch so uh, when i press the backlight you'll be able to see there is an image of the daruma's face that is being shown over here with the eyes the eyebrows and other facial features that is seen here so when you light it up it pretty much completes the entire uh, motif of daruma as part of this watch design i really like this one this model has got the same uh, red straps on the bottom part over here and similarly on the top part the keeper gets the same treatment over here so we have the uh, silhouette of the Daruma doll etched onto the keeper over here. Looking at the um, buckle of this watch also says Casio Japan here and looking at the case back on this watch, this watch is also made in Japan and the model code is 3229 along with the model code DW5600DA. The Daruma doll series of watches were launched as part of December release. It is officially available for sale in Japan since 4th of December 2020. It was also announced to be available in other Asian markets. It costs 14,850 Japanese yen and that's roughly around 140 US dollars. Overall, the design of the watches are really nice in my opinion. The red color that we have over here is usually very popular among G-Shock fans. And not to forget, this watch is made in Japan as well. I still remember to date when I bought this particular Manekineko series earlier this year, I only got one of the models from the series. I was hoping for the prices to drop before I would pick up the rest of the series. But sadly, it is so difficult to find one new one today with retail price. These watches will go out of production pretty soon. So if you like the design and also the message that goes along with this particular uh, release, I suggest go ahead and get it. That's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a few new watches ready to be reviewed and along with a new giveaway that is coming really really soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for all your support. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see ya.